Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. We are out in the shop again, working on the, the welder, the portable welding cart. The, the goal is to make this thing battery powered. And so we're gonna try a few things. We're gonna do some calculations. Uh, I have a feeling I know the answer to this, what's gonna happen here, but even though theoretically things don't seem like they're gonna work, sometimes I like to try them anyway. So we've got a new inverter to try today. It's a more powerful 3000 watt inverter. We have the same battery bank though. So we're gonna hook this up. We're gonna give it a shot, see what happens. And then we'll uh, we'll kind of assess the results and see what we need to do to make this thing work. Well, we have the new inverter here. Looks like we have a couple extra fuses, a mystery tool. Oh, it looks like we have a lot of extra fuses. Got a little remote cable. I'm not sure what this is for. We'll have to look in the manual. That's interesting. And we've got some Chinese wire. Maybe <laughs> maybe two gauge. Some of this uh, this wire is interestingly labeled. I, I don't quite understand all the, the numbers. Uh, many times they're to save money instead of having one, you know, single uh, thick cable, they'll they'll run two or even four of these into one connector. I've seen that with with a lot of these. But this is maybe two gauge RV. Uh, maybe both of these are two. Should be the right size wire for it. Comes with it, right? So this is a 3,000 watt, 12 volt, 60 hertz, and it is an in, a pure sine wave inverter. Uh, this is a, a little nicer than the the other one that that we had, the cheaper one. This one cost over 200 bucks. So, uh, but it was one of the cheaper ones in its class, the cheaper 3,000 watt. It is a 6,000 watt, so temporarily can spike over 3,000 watts. However, I don't think our batteries can handle that much for us any sustained amount of time. So we'll see we'll see what this welder actually pulls. So we've got our terminals and covers here, dual fans, and we've got on off and remote we've got looks like there's a type c and usb power right off the side of it and three regular outlets i wish that they would put the uh commercial 20 amp outlets in here but uh they never do it's the one with the little side side slash on it and it's got a ground maybe that's what that for that's uh that little this little wire maybe it's for this uh this little ground here always best to review the manual a little bit right um Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Children, don't use, ch okay, got it. Battery bank requirements. This helps us, actually. If you have not watched the first video to this, you won't really understand all of what's going on here, but I will give you the 20-second recap of that video. Portable welding cart. It used to be a solar generator. It is made out of wood. The welder sits at the bottom. This little bin here holds four 12 uh, volt batteries. Uh, on the sides hangs my welding gear, and then there's a little compartment, which you'll see in a moment, over on the side, which holds all of our welding uh, type things, metal storage on the front, and later on down the road, uh, oxyacetylene tanks or plasma cutters or other things can go on the front. To test this out, I'm just gonna set the inverter up to the side. We're gonna wire this into our battery terminals, hook it to the welder, and see if we can strike an arc on something. Okay, we're powered up. We got good battery power. The batteries are all charged up fully, and we're at 60 hertz, 120 volts. Plug in the welder. I'm gonna grind this really fast, and then we will try to strike an arc. Let's turn the welder on. Add an idle. It's pulling 10 watts. The welder itself looks good. Well, it looks a lot better than when it did off the other inverter. So everything looks good. We will, uh, I'm gonna get this uh, ground up so I have a, a fresh surface just to see if I can strike an arc on and run a weld and see what happens. You ready? No. It's not, it's not gonna blow up. All right, here we go, welding ah! test. Welding test number one. Well, something didn't work. All right, well, I don't think that it is the inverter. I think the inverter has plenty of power. Uh, the inverter didn't beep and it didn't show any kind of overload. When I hook it up to my other uh, system here, this is a 2000 watt inverter, it actually beeps when I try to run the welder. It, it shows an overload. What I think is happening uh, is what I kind of assumed. These batteries, although wonderful batteries, they do not have enough and they, they can't supply enough current. They're li the BMS is limiting it. So when batteries are wired in parallel, you can add up the 
current. So the max for each one of these batteries is 20 amps. That's how much it can draw. I might be able to spike a little bit over that, but I think the BMS, the battery maintenance system, is limiting it at 20 amps. So we got 20, you can add them up when they're in parallel like this, so 20, 40, 60, 80. So we can draw 80 amps. Now 80 amps at 12 volts does not give us enough power. That only gives us, so when this spikes over, probably to, to start that wall, that probably spikes over 2000 watts, we actually need 160 amps to pull from these batteries. So it's probably getting an under voltage. Uh, even though it didn't show it, it probably isn't enough and the welder itself is what is, is stopping. Like it's trying to start an arc and then it stops. So how I can test that theory is I'm gonna disconnect these uh, from, the, uh, from the batteries and I have another battery. I actually have this uh, marine battery. This is a deep cycle marine battery. And although it's very old, this is a 12 volt, battery that is 690 marine cranking amps. So I think I can pull 690 amps from this thing, which would give me plenty of power. Let's see if this will work. If this works, I think this will actually fit right in there. So let's hook it up and see if we can get this to work. Holding test number two, deep cycle marine battery. All right, let's watch the inverter and see. Now it's measuring a pretty low voltage, um, but this, this little battery in it, and I have been using it, it's not charged all the way up, but should still have enough. That didn't work either. And so it's not an amp draw issue from the battery, but what I did notice, if I play back the video, uh, watching the screen here, as soon as I struck an arc with the welder, the voltage dropped way down to the 90s. And I think that that gives an under voltage on the welder and it's not enough. It, it's not enough, enough power to, to keep continue the arc. And so I think that is my issue. What I thought from the very beginning was that these, these, this inverter, it has a little bit of a slow roll, just a half second or a second delay where it's, uh, it, it kind of winds up the voltage, it, you know, when you start to draw something real heavy. You know, let's say it's an air conditioning compressor or, a, you know, those have hard start capacitors on them and so they can, they can take that kind of slow draw for a second, but the welder cannot. I think the trick might be a capacitor. I have this hard start capacitor, these are cheap. And what a capacitor does, it's basically like a, an instantaneous uh, discharge and charging battery. Uh, it, it discharges instantly and gives you that voltage you need and then it will charge back up uh, from your source. However, I might, I think I need more than just this. Uh, I'll have to do a little research before I start wearing this up, because these, these <laughs> if you wear these wrong, this actually can explode, uh, as far as I understand anyway. So what I'll do, I'm gonna go look at uh, some air conditioning uh, diagrams and some other things, uh, my furnace and, and some other uh, uh, items, and see if I can figure out how to wire this. I might need a run capacitor and I might need a resistor on the back side of this. So I will look at that. If that's the case, the marine battery might work, but I will just have to wire the capacitor in there and some kind of an outlet to hook up the, uh, the welder to. To be continued. We'll leave you hanging on this one. Uh, we'll have to do another update. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build some things together here and I'll let you know what happens. We'll take you guys along for using this capacitor. I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to build a kind of a hard start device, uh, a cheap hard start device. And what I mean by that is many times I'll have a welder or an air compressor or another kind of tool that I want to run on off a 15 amp circuit. Maybe I have a, an outlet outside somewhere and it's not a 20 amp circuit, it's just a 15 amp circuit. And really the, the, the item or the power tool or the compressor or whatever, it runs fine on under 15 amps. It's that initial start that it draws more and it'll trip the breaker. So if I could just get a device that would be cheap that I could build, that would be a little box that I could plug into a 15 amp circuit, have a couple capacitors in there and it would, it would even that out. It would handle that initial spike 
and then run it off of uh, under the fifth, you know, on the 15 amp circuit, or on one of my my battery devices back there, uh, you know, something like that. I could run an air compressor off one of those if I could just get uh, get get through that initial hard start. Even little air conditioners and things camping, you know, it's really just that initial hard start that you have the problem. So we're gonna try this out, and we're gonna mess around with this capacitor, see if we get this welder to run off of this 3,000 watt inverter, or maybe even a smaller inverter. Uh, the running power of this welder is really not that much once it gets that arc started. So let me know what you guys think. Is it going to work or is it not? Take your, your bets below <laughs> and then uh, we'll take you guys along for another update. Be a part three of this mobile welding cart. Uh, hopefully we can get this thing going. Thumbs up on today's video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.